Hi, this is Bill from Molten Voltage, and today I'm going to show you how to program a two-step type of program on Gquencer, the Rift Dispenser. The first thing you need to do is figure out what program slot you want to use. So we'll hold down button number one until it says Select Program. Then we can just turn the knob until we get to the program number we want. I'm going to go to an empty slot, which is Program 33. Then just press the first button again. Now you're at that program. To get into the Edit Mode, you hold down this button right here until it says edit mode on. Then you can let go. The first thing it's going to do is ask you how many steps you want in your sequence. Well, we're going to make a four step sequence, but you can actually go all the way to 16 steps and you can do as few as a single step. We're going to make a four step sequence. So then we press the button again to advance. Then the next question is what type of sequence we want to program. And we're going to do a two-step. You can also do one-step, tap tempo, midi clock, or different whammy settings, or a one-shot. But we're going to do a two-step type program. So then we'll press the button again, and now we're on our first step. And the question at the beginning of each step is whether you want to use a pitch shift, where it will take your note that you're playing on your guitar and shift it, and you won't hear the original note, or whether you want to use a harmony type setting, which is the left side of the whammy, and that's where you can still hear your original note being played along with the pitch shifted note. So for the first step, we're going to use a pitch shift. And we're going to keep it simple. We're going to keep it at unison, which is the note that you play. Now you have a full four octave range with the pitch shifts. You can go two octaves up and two octaves down. And you can hit every interval chromatically. So I'll show you how that works on the next one here. We'll do a pitch shift on the second step as well. And now I'll play a note on the guitar and then I'll turn the knob and you'll be able to hear how the pitch shifts so you can preview that step. So it goes all the way to two octaves up and then it'll loop around if you keep going with the, with the knob. This is two octaves down. So, back up to unison. So for the second step, we'll do a second down. That's two half steps down. For the third step, we'll mix it up. We'll put a harmony in there. And press the button again. It asks us what interval. Now with the harmony intervals, there's an octave up and an octave down. You don't get four octaves. You get two octaves. So for the third step, we're going to use a fifth up harmony. Again, you can preview your step in real time. Once you get something that sounds cool, then you can advance it to the next step. And we'll do another harmony to finish it off. And we'll do an octave up. And now, at this point, we could exit if we wanted to by holding down this button. But what we'll do instead is we can preview how it's going to sound when it's looping by changing from a two-step over to a tap tempo. And if it sounds cool to you, then you just switch that right back over to two-step. And to save your sequence, you hold down the button again. And it'll say change is saved. Now, that's your sequence programmed. And of course, with a two step, you use button number two here to advance through the sequence. So that's how you program a two step type program. So here's how our sequence is going to sound with some distortion. If you have any questions, you can always shoot me an email at questions at moltenvoltage.com. Thanks a lot.